do you ever just want to be like a famous person, like a celebrity in your own right? Oh yeah, that's what YouTube's for. <laughs> Hi everybody, Lilac here. Welcome into the Lilac Broom. Welcome into the Lilac Broom. I'll work on that. That could be a nice little intro right there. I'm not going to lie. Anyway, okay. I have these new dice. Ooh, I feel like a proper witch right now. This sweater though, for real, I feel like a witch just because this one sweat. Yay, October. Finally, something I like about October. Okay, let's get serious. Who are we reading for? Capricorn. Okay, now I see what you did there, universe. I got you. Um, got me set up just right. I love it. So, let's read for Capricorn. Cappy Wappies, where you at? I am going to grab some runes. It's gonna be noisy. Stand by. Yeah, I'm feeling a little, ooh, okay, don't come at me, bro. <laughs> um, so for runes, We've got a couple that have come out and working with runes is a bit of a process, so you've got to let it sort of come to you, okay? Their future is on standby. Standby. Isn't that like a kind of flight, a standby? Someone is going to fly. Why? Okay. Someone going on a trip? Traveling? Moving away? I'm hearing something about Washington, but they're pointing on the map up in the top corner. Um, that would be Washington State, not DC. Okay, start here. Mm. Okay, Capricorn. Wow. Someone, someone crossed the line. I'm being told this is a serious matter. Someone crossed the line. They were pushed to it out of love they feel, so a crime of passion. But when I say crime, I don't mean that it had to be a huge crime. Just being in error of one's ways, uh, simply put, was out of passion or pushed to it. Ooh, wow, from by the mother and the father is what I'm getting. <laughs> Okay, so it's almost like someone has a silver spoon in their mouth, but they are the way they are because of their parent, their upbringing. They're, this is an acknowledgement, Capricorn. Okay. Um, this could be generational too. If it's not you, it could be a story from somewhere in your family, but somehow it's significant to you in October. So, okay, all right. There's also family members with military uh, connections. And they're also indicating even the military that you know, they do go further back generationally speaking. All right. What's the message for Capricorns? Because we had our future on standby. That was where we started. Our future's on standby. Messages from ancestral um, spirit. Um, a person acting, I don't wanna say out of character. What I wanna say is acting out, but because of pa a pa something they're passionate about, but it's sort of, they're constrained in some way by their parents. And that could also be by, you know, by the family at large. It doesn't have to be your exact parents. It could be, you know, my big fat Greek wedding, like the whole family is involved, you know? Um, 
Let's see, what else have we got for the Capricorns? It's a dynamic time right now, but the challenge is still looming over a person out there who's tuning into this message. There's an energy looming over the success of an individual or a project. The language here is coming through very precisely. There's a heavy energy. Maybe someone is doing something in somebody else's honor and it's so it's very important that it gets done correctly and that it gets done in a timely manner and that it gets done to the specifications as expected by certain parties or I see a lot of legal jargon. So yeah, you got some stuff going on Capricorns. It's linked to wills and estates and so forth. Um, you know, from passed over family members. Yeah. Mm. Someone wants forgiveness, Capricorn. It could be you wanting the forgiveness. And a fresh start. Huh. A fresh start with money, it looks like. Um, but there's appears to be an equitable separation of funds. So it's almost like, okay, but what's missing then? If everything was split fair and, and square, what doesn't feel right here? Like wh what's the hollow feeling that you're left with Capricorn? And, and why, why, maybe why is not the question. What will build a bridge between that which is working and that where where you're lacking. So there's some either fantasy in this space that exists uh, between sort of like your reality of things and your hope for things or your wish for things. Um, and within that little bit of fantasy, there is, you want to explore something there and you're being pushed to it by, um, Possibly by just stress. I'm getting stress, trauma, stress, chaos in your life. You're like, I just need a, a break from the chaos. Let's see if we can get you some kind of advice with the Oracle cards. We're going to stick with the Enchanted map. I've been doing so well with that one today. Um, what's good advice to help Capricorn through this matter? You know... Because I'm just wondering, like, are you stuck in, is the stress in your body and it's stuck there? Is it stuck in your thoughts where, you know, you need support with that or release from that? Like, what's the best advice for Capricorn? Number 36, commitment. And um, the image of the star I've seen that already in the reading, um, right in the center of your reading, telling me that you're at another, what I'll call destiny interval, um, meaning clearly that there will be more than one ever. And it's not like there's a certain amount per month, per year, per lifetime. Um, but there is one right now for sure. And it's pretty significant. So let's, let's actually read from the book what this card is about. Number 36, commitment. Some of you could be 36 years old, I'm hearing. Or in that age group, I don't know what it's called. Are they millennials? I don't know. If the cup fits, man, you wear it. <laughs> ja. <laughs> um, so yeah, if it fit, I don't know if they're called millennials. I'm not good with that kind of stuff. But people in this age bracket, this demographic, if you want, I don't know. A true commitment is a responsibility of the heart 
mind, body, and soul. This is a good time to make one. That sounds very positive and probably very hard to do. I mean, it's encouraging because it's, it's, a, it's a good goal to have, making commitments, especially one that you can do heart, mind, body, and soul, you know? But clearly there are gonna be setbacks in trying to do something so good for yourself. Partnerships formed at this time are harmonious and powerful. The commitment card also indicates the natural evolution of a relationship from its inception to a little, literal or metaphorical marriage. At the very least, there's a promise of fulfillment in some form. However, you must be conscious of what you're committing to. Be clear about the nature of your commitment and your responsibility to it. Others are more willing to enter into partnerships at this time. Remember that your partnership with spirit and highest version of your own self will engage the highest self in another. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a good reminder that if you're going to make these kind of deep, meaningful um, connections with people, make, make, spirit, make them spirit-centered. I mean, yeah, I feel like I need to get you guys at least one more Oracle card, but we're gonna switch to the Gothic Oracle for, for Cap. Let's see, okay. Hmm, what a beautiful card. It's called Inner Strength. You see a, a woman, a warrior, apparently, with a gold-colored dragon, um, and she's wearing like a bronze color. It's a beautiful card. Um, let me see, let's read about, we're gonna read about this one from the book. And again, it's called the Gothic Oracle. Inner strength, courage. So, a young woman advances with sword in hand. A dragon, adorned with golden scales reminiscent of armor, stands behind her. Their heads connect and she affectionately strokes the beast's chin. At this moment, they are one. Ooh, being one with a dragon? Come on, Capricorn, what's happening here? This card is a symbol of strength, but not brawn. Is the dragon really there? Or might we consider that he is simply a representation of what is in the mind and heart of the woman, manifesting her own inner fortitude and tenacity? Right on, Capricorn women. I mean, if you're a bro ski out there, that's fine, but I just, I love that. If there's a Capricorn woman out here that I could touch here in the heart, like really, um, if I could, if I could get just into that little chip of your armor, um, and this is directed at no one in particular or personal, but I feel spirit telling me to say this, that someone wants me to connect with them, someone who might be watching this video. Um, this inner strength is just supportiveness, right? It's just understanding that on the spirit level, beyond in a place beyond ego, um, people can connect up here on a higher level, and that's what it's talking about, is connect with yourself on a higher level. This is hard for Capricorns. I know that. I, I need to acknowledge you for that, that it is hard. If you've pulled this card, then you may need to draw on your own resources of inner strength, your own inner dragon. This is not always easy, especially if it's buried away under doubt and apprehension. We can attempt to find inner strength when we stand up for something we believe in or face up to our fear. Just receiving this card can be a reminder of the strength that lives within you. If you're feeling loss or less, sorry, than confident or need to confront something head on, this card suggests that you have the courage to take on far more than you believe you can. You know, that's really, that's very sound advice. Like people really can take on more than they believe they're, they're able to do. Not that I'm saying go out there and overdo it. I'm just saying that, especially like 
cardinal signs of the zodiac who are kind of weighed down in the three-dimensional energy as Capricorns are, and Tauruses, and Leos, and Scorpios. But we're not talking about them right now, and who knows if this similar message will come up in their video. But yeah, it's easy to get bogged down in the mire, so if it if it helps, and I know I said this in my general October message, and I'm, I'm hearing it kind of right now, is just like, let the energy come up from the bottom of your feet. Let it come up through the earth, up to your root chakra, your solar plexus, and so forth, until you're able to pull yourself up. Um, yoga would help with this, any kind of like movement-related activities like Tai Chi. Um, can help to get that energy shifting. And I have to say also, I think that Reiki would help with that kind of thing as well. Um, some in combination with others. Not a doctor, just work with them. And not on TV, although clearly, <laughs> you, you know what, never mind. Um, so that's what I've got for you, Capricorn. That's all I, that's all she wrote. <laughs> I hope this was helpful. You got some strong energy going on. I am going to have to clear it out. But I wish you all the best.